Hi guys, my name is Clarice and welcome back to my YouTube channel. A bit of background about myself, I am currently in my first year studying at the University of Sydney doing a Bachelor of Applied Science majoring in Exercise Science. Here are my f 5 tips on how to reduce distraction from your phone when you are studying. My first tip is using the app Forest or any similar app like that. For those of you who have never heard of it before, Forest is like a plant growing app. So you set a timer for the amount of time you, you want to study for. And basically, if you complete the amount of time you study and without touching your phone, an imaginary plant would grow in the app. And basically, the more you do it, the more plants grow in the app. The second tip. I have on preventing yourself from getting distracted on your phone is recording a time lapse of yourself studying because by recording a time lapse on your phone it prevents you from basically going onto other apps and distracting yourself on like other apps like TikTok or Instagram or Snapchat. The third thing you can use to prevent yourself from getting distracted from your phone is putting screen time limits on your apps so you would know that you have a certain number of hours maximum on certain apps that would actually prevent you from overusing your phone and it reduces distractions after a certain amount of hours used on your phone. The fourth tip you can use is to change the colors on your phone to black and white only so you know the iPhone has the capacity to do that and i'm not sure about android phones but basically by changing the color scale of your phone screen it just makes it a lot less interesting and you will have less of a desire to get on your phone well, if you want to do that you have to go into settings and then accessibilities displays and text size color filters and then click grayscale the fifth and last tip I can give you on preventing yourself from using too much of your phone is using this website called Study Together 24-7 Study Room and Focus Room. It's a, basically it's like an online Zoom where a whole bunch of people are studying and they are able to see you studying and you can see them studying. So that kind of makes it easier for you to study because it you get this perception that you are being seen by a whole bunch of people and being watched and being hold, held accountable. So that's all my recommendations for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. I hope that you guys are healthy and safe. Please like this video if it, you found it useful. Subscribe down below for more content and comment down below if you have any suggestions or comments, questions or anything. I'll try my best to answer them to the best of my abilities. So, have a good one. See you in the next video.